Hi, welcome to my channel, The Magic of Math. Today, my lesson is on translations, the mathematical slide. So we'll begin by talking about what we're gonna to learn today in our lesson, and that is that you will identify a translation and that you will translate figures in the coordinate plane. What I want you thinking about today as we go through this lesson on translations is how can you tell when a transformation is a translation and what effect does a translation have on congruence? So let's begin by reviewing some vocabulary. The first word I wanna review with you is what is a transformation? So this playlist starts a series of videos on learning about transformations. And our, we're gonna learn about one specific transformation today. But let's talk about what a transformation is first. A transformation describes how a two-dimensional figure moves on a coordinate plane. A two-dimensional figure is a triangle, rectangle, square, parallelogram, trapezoid, all of those that have length and width. So not a three-dimensional, not three measurements, not length, width, and height, just length and width or base and height. And we talk about a transformation as a change in location. And it can happen in four different ways. It can happen by sliding, turning, flipping, or changing size. We're gonna learn about this first of the four today called a slide. So that is referred to in math as a translation, a change in location by sliding. The figure slides left or right or up or down. You can have both a horizontal or a vertical translation or a combination of both. So it can move to the right, it could move to the left, it could move up, it could move down, or it could do a combination, left and up, right and down, left and down, or right and up. Image is our next vocabulary word. This is the result of the transformation. The image is the figure after it's been transformed. We label the image using this little apostrophe right here looks like a comma or a prostrate, and we call that prime. We read it as prime. So here's an example. Triangle ABC was changed, transformed to triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So this doesn't say what the transformation was. It's just noting that this triangle, when you have a visual of it with these primes, these apostrophes, is going to be the transformed image of the original figure. So this is what's given and it's transformed to an image and we label it with these primes. Congruence is another important vocabulary word to understand as we talk about transformations. When two figures have the same size and shape, meaning all corresponding sides and corresponding angles have the same measures, and all translations in order to be a translation must be congruent. So here we go. From what I've just reviewed with you, I'd like you to tell me whether or not the blue figure is a translation of the green figure and think about how do you know. So let's see how you did. The figures are congruent. So you can see I can slide and put the blue on top of the green and I could also slide and put the green on top of the blue. So they are congruent. And now we know that the green figure is a horizontal translation followed by a translation to the right, followed by a vertical translation to the to up. So let's go back and look at this. I'm going to go back and show you this animation. All right. So if I go back, right and up. So you can see how I can slide it to the right and then slide it up. You would not, even though you could go there diagonally, you can't refer to that mathematically. So we are going to say to the right and up because that's how we plot an ordered pair in the coordinate plane. So would it be wrong to say that it went up and then to the right? No. But when we think about how we could refer to it algebraically using ordered pairs, we want to talk about horizontal then vertical. And I want you also to note that this blue figure has not been turned or flipped. It's in the same orientation as the original figure. 
So the blue is the image of the original figure that's green, and it has it's a translation because we've done a slide to the right and up, and they are congruent figures. All right, translation, yes or no? Has this blue figure been a translation of the green figure, and how do you know? Let's see how you did. So no, we can already say no, it's not a translation because they're not congruent. The green figure does not have four congruent sides to the blue figure. So even though all the angles appear to be right angles, we're not 100% sure, but they look that way, the sides, the corresponding sides, are not congruent. So therefore, it cannot be a translation. How about this one? Is this blue figure a translation of the green figure? And how do you know? Let's see how you did. So it's going to be no because it has been turned or rotated, which we'll learn about in an upcoming video. Um, or you could also have said it was reflected. So you could have turned it or you could have reflected it. But we'll learn about those in another. There's nothing you can do to slide this left or right or up or down and make it overlap this blue figure. So this cannot be a translation. So here's an image of it. You can see that we have to turn it in order for it to overlap. All right, how about this one? Is this blue figure a translation of the green figure? And how do you know? Let's see how you did. So the answer is going to be no, because the figure has been reflected. OK, or you could say that it was turned, but we can see that it has been reflected. So it's not a translation because there's nothing we can do to the green figure to slide it down to make it overlap. You'd have to turn it or reflect it. OK, your turn again. Is this blue figure a translation of the green figure? And how do you know? Let's see how you did. So the figures are congruent because I can slide the green on top of the blue and it's congruent. All sides and angles are the same. And the green figure has been translated horizontally to the right and vertically down. It has not been turned and it has not been flipped. So therefore, I can say that the blue figure is a translation of the green figure. Again, just to review some vocabulary, this blue is our image. All right, let's talk about translating in the coordinate plane. In order to translate a figure in the coordinate plane, you need to move all points the specified distance and label the new points that you've created with this image with the apostrophe called prime. So here I have my coordinate plane and I have a triangle A, B, C. Our instructions are here given in words, translate the figure eight units to the right and three units down. So you may be given this as a statement of what you need to do, or it could be given to you algebraically. So what this means here is we have an ordered pair x, y, and this arrow means transform it. When you transform it, you're going to add 8 to every x coordinate and subtract 3 from every y coordinate. So you can see you have three ordered pairs here. So I'm going to show you how to do this. This blue is the algebraic way to write this statement. So when we translate it 8 units to the right, we know that our x coordinate is going left or right. So if we add 8 to every x coordinate, it's going to vertically translate to the right. We know that if we're going to go down, that is our y coordinate. Our y coordinate goes up or down. Remember, if it's up, it's positive. If it's down, it's negative. So this translation means you're going to translate every y coordinate down three units. So let's look what this looks like on the coordinate plane. So I can identify that this point A is negative 6, 6. So this is the ordered pair, x coordinate of negative 6, y coordinate of 6, my x, y. So if I look at algebraically what it says, it says plug in x, which is negative 6, and add 8, which is what I've got over here, negative 6 plus 8. I'm going to take the y coordinate, which is positive 6, and subtract 3. And when I do that math, which is shifting to the right 8, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, down 3. And if I do the math, negative 6 plus 8 is 2, 6 minus 3 is 3. And I've labeled my point A prime. So two different ways to look at it. Language, mathematical. All right, let's translate point B. Eight units to the right, three units down. Label it B prime. C point, we're going to move that over to the right eight and down three. Label it C prime and connect the points to form my triangle. I want you to note that the image is congruent. This is our image and it's congruent to the original. All sides are the same. All angles are the same. So all points move the same distance and same direction. All right, your turn. I would like you to translate this figure six units to the left and four units up. Make sure you label your new points with a prime and I would jot down the ordered pair so that you can check your work when you're done. All right, let's see how you did. So when I do this, I'm gonna start by identifying that this first vertex, A, is two, negative six. And it's asking me to go six units to the left. Left is going negative, so I'm going to subtract six. Four up means I'm going vertical translation up means I'm adding four. So if I'm going to do that algebraically, two subtract six is negative four. Negative six add four is negative two. So my new vertex should be A prime at the location negative four, negative two. So let's count this out and see if it works out. One, two, three, four, five, six units left. One, two, three, four units up. And there is negative four, negative two, and I label it A prime. Then my next one is B, and I'm gonna go over six, left six, up four, and there is my B prime. I'm going to take C, and I'm gonna go to the left six, and then I'm gonna go up four, and there is C prime at negative two, one, and I have my image. Noting that they are congruent, all three angles are congruent, all three corresponding sides are congruent, and that's my translation. So there you have it, translations, the mathematical slide. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today and found it helpful. I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment and let me know how it went and what you'd like to see more of. And I hope you have a great day.